we got some really, really disturbing news for you guys. Um, so pay attention to this one. This is a rather confusing situation. Uh, former NFL player Phil Adams, uh, he killed five people in South Carolina in his home in South Carolina, and then killed himself as a result. Um, so the five people he ended up killing was a doctor, and was the a doctor that had, I think he was working in the home or something like that. And he killed his wife, and then their two grandchildren, and then he killed someone who worked in the house before kill, before killing himself. Uh, so the people the people that the article mentions Mario and Lee, uh. The first person was Dr. Robert Leslie, who's 70 years old, his wife, Barbara, who was 69, their grandchildren, Ada Leslie, who is nine years old, which is just truly sad, and their other and their other grandchild, uh, grandchild Noah Leslie, who was five years old. Just honestly, it's just really disturbing news. Uh, and the other guy that they killed, was, that he killed was James Lewis, who was 38 years old. He, he was the one working in the house. Um, and Yorkshire, uh, no, not Yorkshire, excuse me, York County Sheriff, my bad. Uh, Kevin Tolson uh, said that there's they haven't found a motive for the shooting yet, and that um he said that the that the weapon was used it was a forty it was a forty five caliber with nine millimeter uh bullets which just just it's 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 just a mess up situation Mario um and this was reported by the Associated Press of ESPN so let me start off with this okay because this I don't know I oh, man dude first of all rest in peace to the people that were killed all right no one like. There was no motive behind this. They, well, they didn't have found a motive, I would say that. And, dude, I can't wrap my head around this. I remember I first heard about this earlier today. This came out around like 10 in the morning. So when I first heard about it, I was kind of half asleep. I still can't wrap my head around this, Mario. And uh, if, this, if, if there is an update on how this ever happened to begin with, uh, we'll, we'll be more than happy to make a video about it. But, this is my, guys, this is just really, really messed up. All right, and and I don't understand why. I really don't. I said it yesterday. I said it yesterday. You no, know, and, and I said it many times before. You know why does it have to be like this? Why does someone have to die because like you know a problem happening? Oh yeah, let's pull out a gun and start shooting people. Like why does it have to be like that? You know what I mean? And and obviously you know a lot of people are gonna argue. Well, you know he played football. He took a lot of hits. And other people who just kill people. You know they have mental issues. And yeah. I understand that, and, you know, mental issues need to be addressed, but that doesn't give you a reason to kill somebody. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? And I've said it yesterday, and i said it many, many times, and I'll keep saying it. Put the damn guns down. Enough of that, man. Put the weapons down. You don't need none of that shit. Excuse me for my language, but I'm sorry, but I deserve a free pass. Enough of the weapons, people. I don't know what caused this. I'm not going to assume, but... Most likely, something happened that made him kill them. You know what I mean? Like, y'all got to handle your problems the right way. Killing people is not the answer. It makes your problems even worse. You know what I mean? I don't know how many times you have to stress it. Make the right decisions, and if something happens, handle it the right way. It's not that difficult. But to these people, it is because they think, oh, yeah, I got a gun. I'm cool. Let me shoot somebody. It doesn't work that way. That's not how life works. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I always say, you know, not to mention, this dude played in the NFL. I know he didn't have the most successful career, but there were there were probably people that looked up to this guy. I was like, hey man, like I want I you know maybe one day hopefully I can meet this guy or like you know. But we talked about it with um 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 Travis Rudolph yesterday when he got busted for murder. Um, it's just like just it's it's unnecessary. You know what I mean? Like and, and when we mentioned that uh, Travis um Travis Rudolph. He had lunch with an autistic kid. That kid's going to look at him differently. It's like, hey, I had lunch with this kid, with this guy. He murdered somebody. Like, same thing with other people. The other people are going to look up to these guys that do this stuff. It's like, this dude did this? I looked up to this guy? Like, you guys need to make the right. I know I know, most of you guys out there probably don't do that stuff. And that's good. And I hope you don't do it. But seriously, make the right decisions. Put the, put the fists down. Put the guns down. Put the damn weapons down. All right, that's just not that's not what we that's not how we fix problems. That's not how we're gonna make change in this world. So with that being said, I don't, I don't even know if I have anything more to say about this. Personally, I don't. Uh, so with that being said, I'll pass it on to you, Nelly. You ever get hit hard by a situation so hard that you just forget the name? You just it happening. It's it's just ridiculous. I personally don't know what to say. I mean, all I really can say is this. It's like, 
I'm not a con- I'm not a mainstream sports fan. I'm more sports entertainment ha- or slash professional wrestling fan. And if there's one thing I can speak on, it's tragedies like this. Because unfortunately, I've had the unfortunate displeasure of seeing guys like Philip Adams commit these kinds of crimes. Of course, one in particular would be the Chris Benoit tragedy. I'm not going to go into many of the details, but it's similar to this. The difference was Benoit had a six more successful career, and he, had, and he murdered his wife and his son. And then he took his own life, very unfortunately. We're operating off of limited information, so it's going to be very, very hard to you know, know why he did what he did. The answers will be coming out in time, but I do agree that, you know, we need to put the weapons down, have, you know, honest, honest, honest discussion in real discussions, but understand that some people are not capable and do not have the capacity for that. And their knee-jerk reaction in the moment when that adrenaline's pumping is to grab that weapon, is to do this, is to do that, and go and reach the point of no return. And I believe after Mr. Philip Adams, I shouldn't even call him Mr. Yeah. After Philip Adams did what he did, he might have re- he might have realized and said, Oh my gosh, I just I can't live with myself. And then he did what he did. It's a sad situation, and especially from an ex-NFL player, and unfortunately, it'll go down as one of the tales of the pitfalls of not fame, but, you know, riches and having coming up from where we came from and having a good life and have it all just be taken away by his hands, ironically so, dramatically, ironically so. And... One more thing before I pass on to you now, Mario. It's like, one thing that's even more messed up is that kids were killed in this. That's the worst part about this. Why bring your kids in this situation? Why take them? I know I know, taking people in general are it's just bad no matter who you are. But the kids? What, what, like, why bring them in? They had nothing, they, I don't know if they had anything to do with it or not. Whatever happened, I'm not sure. But, like, come on now. This is the stuff that I talk about. That's why I say handle your problems correctly, because there are kids that are watching. You know, some you know some of these people that fight have kids. And if they get in the middle of that, and God forbid, you know, knock on wood, it doesn't happen. But what if they do get involved and something does happen? What happens then? You just wasted a young, talented person's life with the potential to become something great. Like you guys got to, you guys seriously need to put the damn guns down, because not only are we losing. People that are that are more valuable to us, or you know, depending on the situation. But we're also losing kids too, and those kids can grow up to make a change in the world someday. Y'all gotta stop, man. My turn to talk. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Obviously, I don't got a mic in front of me, right? Now, I'm, now, as you guys were talking, I was listening to what you guys were saying, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? Somebody gotta hype. Is gonna, somebody gonna heat up this mic? And I'm thinking, like, you know what? I don't even know if I can. I I I, I, would, I tried we, to. We, I could. So many situations before, right? Where we just got so we just got like mad at whatever the situation was, and we heated it up. The matter of the fact is, this man, okay, went uh, went to a house, killed a doctor who saves people's lives. Remind you that. No matter which way you want to look at it, whether it's like literally on the moment of saving people's lives or whether it's giving them the treatment for them to live longer. He is saving people's lives. Put it that way. Okay. His wife and his two grandkids. And then there was a worker in the house and he kill and he kills him too. That's five people. And he kills himself. Okay. Now, I don't even know if I can heat this mic up. I don't. I, I want him so badly. I want to just yell, but I don't even think I can. And the reason why I don't is because there's so limited information on this right now that I don't want to say something that I might regret. I don't. I I don't. I am abs- This is sick. I'm being honest. That's the only thing I can say. This is sick. This is sick right here. Okay. Now I don't care what the medical reports say when it comes out. I don't care if it says he was mentally okay. Ill. I don't care if it says he wasn't. Something is messed up. I'm gonna be honest. Something had to be messed up in his head for him to do this. Something had to be. Okay. Now questions of mine are this. Okay. 
question of mine is with this. A, um, did you, was this an actual target right here? This Because it was a family. Remember, it was a family of people. It was a family. It was a doctor, a wife, and the two grandkids. Was this the, was this a target? Was this who you were going after? Could it have been something like I was trying, like maybe he, he was thinking about like committing a crime on the house? Rob I don't know. I don't because I wasn't there, so I couldn't say nothing. I don't know. Could it have been the doctor might have given given uh, him and the doctor might have not agreed or somebody in that family and him didn't get along or whatever, and that's what caused it. I don't know because I was not there. We don't have a lot of information on this. You know, we don't have a lot of information on this, but I'll say this right now. Okay. Despite any, because because mo, most, I don't know if medical reports are going to come in. I think they should look at that though, because for you to kill five people and then yourself, you have to look at it. You just have to. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they say. In my, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. Okay. If you kill five people, something had to happen. Something, something in your brain ticked that to go and something happened. Okay. No normal person kills five people. And two of them were kids under the age of 10 years old. That don't happen. It, it doesn't happen, you know? And like, I could say, and, I, and, and, and again, I can't even like, we, we've, we've gotten, we've talked, we've, we've uh, came at people like Gladney. We've came at people like Wheeler. We've came at people like, um, I'm trying, like Les Miles. We've came out, we've came at these people, okay? And many others that we've talked about, Nate, okay? Many others, all right? I can't even say nothing right now. The only thing I can say is this, Nate, to um to I'm gonna look up his I'm gonna get his name right now because I don't wanna because I don't wanna just what do you call it? I don't I don't wanna call him by like the doctor. Yeah, All right, I, I get I do that. I missed I missed a piece of information. There was a sixth person in this as well. He's in the hospital with serious gunshot wounds. I I I meant to mention that. Yeah, wrote, thank you. Right. Him. So all right, look, Nate, from Doctor Leslie, right? To Doctor Leslie, his wife. And his two grandchildren, the man who was working in their house, may you guys rest in peace. Condolences to the family and friends. You know, like that's the one thing I gotta say to the man in the hospital. I am hoping that he he will stay. I hope I'm praying for him, and I hope that he has a full recovery. That's okay. Look, man, I, I want to I want to yell so bad. I want to I want to get angry. I want to say something. Okay. Because you know, when one of us, because I'm going to be honest with you, Nate, most likely when stuff like this happens, you heat up the mic. But when it's not you, it's me. So one of us is heating the mic up. We can't, I can't do that. None I of us can either. do that right now. That's how you know this is, this is, this is a terrible situation. When not me, nor you, or even Lee could say, could yell at some, could yell. This is the closest I can get to. This is the closest right now. Okay. I don't know what, I don't know what, what was wrong with Philip Adams. I don't. Okay, I don't know what sparked this. Okay, it is tragic how this was sparked. Okay, tragic. All right, if you here's what I'll say. Okay, you had a problem with the doctor, right? And you killed him. Is it wrong? Absolutely. Is it sinful? Absolutely. You kill his wife. Is it wrong? Absolutely. Is it sinful? Absolutely. Okay, you could have possibly had problems with those two people, right? I just want to know what did a nine year old and a five year old do to you? What did the worker in the house do to you? Maybe it could have been a worker. You know, maybe it could have been a worker he was targeting. I don't know. Okay. And then there was another man I got shot. Maybe it was him. I don't know because we do not have information. But I just want to know like, what in your mind made you kill that whole family and two more people? What? I look, look man, I'm going to be honest with you, Nate. When an update comes, we have to talk about this. This is like a I, must. I absolutely agree. It's a must because I can't say nothing right now. I can't. Look, man, it's. I can't get I can't get these words out. I've said everything I possibly had to say. I've said everything I possibly had to say. Okay, and you said the rest. Okay, make the right choices. Put the guns down. We have talked about this many, many times. If there is a way you can solve a problem without violence, do it. We've talked about this many, many times. All right. So I'm not going to repeat what you just said because you said it already. You know, there's no need to repeat it. Here's what I want to do, though, Nate, because I am done talking about this situation right here because it makes me absolutely sick. OK, what I want to do is this. All right, because I think you might have forgot to do it. Let's just take I want to take like a brief moment of silence because there were five people that were and right. there were five people that were killed and there is one person in the hospital. So I do want to take a brief moment of silence.
Thank you. Being said, you know, uh, guys, let you know, uh, may the people who were killed in this rest in peace. You know, the um, the family of the doctor, may they rest in peace. The, the man in the hospital, we're praying for you. As for you guys out there, learn from this. Make the right decision. Put the damn guns down. Put the damn weapons down. We don't need that kind of stuff in society.